Okay, uh, thank you. It's a pleasure to have a talk. My name is Anna Stuber. I work at Warsaw University of Technology, but this is just a little side project with Warsaw Medical University. And I will talk about uh, childbirth and uh, about little data science in it. Um, not this way. Okay, uh, what is Friedman curve? It is a curve on the x-axis we have time uh, in hours from the start of the labor and on the y-axis we have uh, dilation. And when the dilation reaches 10 centimeters, boom, baby comes out. Okay, and when the, why I think this curve is wrong? Because uh, this study was actually done in 1955, and then average uh, age of the woman giving the birth was 20. And there were some medical procedures applied to this woman which are actually not standard anymore. So the conditions change very much, uh, and uh, also the procedure, the, the a man who did it called it something like a graphical statistical procedure, but I think he just took the points that looked good to him. So, okay. Uh, and why I think this is even dangerous? Because actually, this is very outdated and not really scientific, but actually the uh, doctors and the midwives put this curve in their books, and this is bad, but they also uh, even made clinical decisions uh, based on this curve, and this is even worse. Uh, like if the woman is progressing too slowly, maybe you should apply some oxytocin to her or, some, or even cross-section. Uh, which are really serious actions. And for me as a woman, this is pretty frightening and probably it, it should be too to uh, others. Okay, so we made little pilot study about this topic. We have 500 of women and they were all healthy women with healthy children and it was not a hospital but a birthing center. Uh, and actually these 500 of women, it's all of the beers from 2015 and 2016. Uh, so it's quite a unique opportunity because we have only physiology, like no medical interventions. Okay, and what we want to study? Uh, we want just to calculate things like how long it should take, for example, for the first stage of the labor. And we can see that there is a definite difference between first-time mother and experienced mother. And I made something like this Friedman curve myself. Okay, these uh, red points are, is this original, original curve that I think it's wrong. Uh, and uh, this bars, uh, it's our data. And Okay, we want at least try something like not just single points, but somehow distribution, uh, yeah, like it looks for other women. And we have uh, still have big difference between first time and experienced mothers. And as we can see, uh, actually our mothers were quicker than this golden or rotten standards of Friedman curves, but still we have some points that are below this curve, and it means that if we apply a decision based on this Friedman curve, so uh, maybe we should uh, give this woman oxytocin or even cross-section, but as we know, with this woman everything goes perfectly well, so they definitely don't need it, nothing. Okay, and Oh, and here we have the same thing, just like means of, of these data points. Okay, and final question is that we want to build uh, just a little model uh, that will tell us, okay, how long should it take for this woman to give a birth? Is it okay or it's maybe it's just it's now too long? And we have some factors. And definitely the, the most important one is if it's the first time mother or second time mother or more, but there are other factors. And here goes this question of interpretability. Yeah, we want something just simple. Okay, and I made some really simple decision tree. Uh, okay, this is just an example, but uh, I showed this to two midwives and actually what they uh, told me uh, it's just, uh, okay, you made the tree, great, uh, we like it, we understand it, we, we want it, we have something like that in our books. So this is probably the, the way to go. Okay, and uh, 
here you have references for, for this first paper and some, some study that co covers similar topics. Okay, uh, and why I'm talking about it? Because I think there are still areas when you can do something really simple, but it's actually important for our health and so on. Thank you.